Hi there, Eagle engineers. Check out those towers behind me. Did you know that towers date back thousands of years? They were originally built as lookouts. People would perch themselves on top and watch the surrounding area to see if enemies were coming. They could see far distances. The higher up they were, the further they could see. Towers continue to be a part of our everyday life for very different reasons. Let's take a look at some other towers. Here I am in the state of Washington, and behind me is the Washington Space Needle. It was built in 1962, and if you're very brave, you can go all the way to the top of the tower and look out over the Pacific Ocean, as well as three different states. This one might be one you've seen before. This is the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. It was built for the World's Fair and at the time was the tallest structure in the world. How about this city, boys and girls? Now I'm in Tokyo, Japan. Currently, the Sky Tree Tower is the tallest in the world, rising over 1,000 feet. Look how it dwarfs the high rises in the city below. Amazing architecture. Now here's a tower that should look vaguely familiar to you. Behind me is a cell phone tower. A little more simple in design than the other towers we saw, but still many characteristics they have in common with the other towers if you look at the architecture of each tower, you'll notice that it has a very broad bottom and it narrows as it rises to the top. The broader the base of the tower, the higher the tower can rise. A broadened base helps the structure stand straight and tall. Without a broad base or a strong foundation, a tower would need guide wires in order to keep it steady and in order to defy the odds of gravity, which would pull it down. Today, we're gonna work on building some towers and I'm gonna challenge you to build the tallest tower you can. But remember, you only know how tall your tower can stand if you let it fall. And what do engineers do? They plan, they prepare, they design, they build, and then they replan, looking at other ways to design, build, and improve their product. Don't forget to act like an engineer. Plan first. Think about what products you'll use. Think about how high you can make them. Think about what will make them steady. Think about the towers I just showed you. Okay, boys and girls, I'm back at home after my whirlwind tour of towers, and I've gathered some materials that you probably have laying around the house. Actually, the first one I didn't have lying around the house. I has, had to ask my neighbor, but I bet a lot of you have some Legos at home, and I bet you've used them to build some towers. So let's take a look at what happened with my Legos. I already have a few pieces together just to sort of speed up the process. The question is, what do you think will happen as I continue to build my tower of Legos taller and taller and taller? If you guessed that it would eventually fall down, you were right. But wait a minute, let's look at the base. And let's look at the top. My base wasn't really any wider, was it? So I wonder what would happen if I put my Legos on a broader base. It just so happens I have one waiting right here. There we go. All right, well, it's already taller just being on the base. Let me grab my fallen Legos and see if I can get it to stand this time. 
So far, so good. How high can I go before it falls again? To be honest, I'm not sure. I'm running out of Legos. Wow, that is one tall Lego tower. I wonder how tall your tower can be. I dare you to try it. What if you don't have Lego lying around the house? What other things can you use to build a tower? How about paper cups or plastic cups? Notice the cup is already wider at one end than it is at the other. So which end do you think that I want to be on the bottom? You guessed the wider end, you're correct. But obviously, I don't wanna stack them like that. It would take forever. So what happens if I, whoop, accidents happen. What happens if I start stacking them like this? Do you see the bottom? And I'm going every other one. I have to be very careful. No tape or glue here. And I have to balance them just right. One on top of the other. Alternating which side is on the bottom. I don't know, boys and girls, it's starting to wobble. Should I try one more? Ta-da! We're still going. Wow, it really is wobbling. This is why some towers that we see have guide wires. Without those guide wires, the tower wouldn't be able to be nearly as tall. You get the idea, so I'm gonna stop for right now. But what else is around the house that you could use to build a tower? If you ask mom to go into the kitchen cabinets, I bet you she can find you some canned goods. And I bet you those canned goods will be of various different sizes. Remember, the bigger your base, the taller your tower. Now, I have to issue a word of caution. When we're dealing with canned goods, particularly those that haven't been opened, they're very heavy. So you have to be careful. In this case, you may not want them to fall because they're gonna be very heavy. I challenge you boys and girls to grab whatever's around the house Remember to use a broad base and see how high you can build that power.